Hi Stampers and welcome to the February Video Kit Club. This is the card you're going to be making. It's a fun um, uh, gatefold card and we're going to be using the Hummingbird and Flowers new stamp set. We're going to be using the Hibiscus, the One Hummingbird, and we do not remember days but moments um, sentiment. If you want to include the whole stamp in your video kit, just leave a note in the comments and it will be included in the kit as well at a discounted price. So let's get started. Your card is going to come pre-scored, of course, like it always does. And then you're going to receive several different patterned papers. I've already got the tape on them, but they are double-sided. And you're just going to go ahead and take off the tape. I'm using the um, half inch terrific tape and you're going to adhere those to the side panels of your card. So go ahead and play around with your patterns and decide what pattern you like best and what combination. Um, this is uh, there's several different colors in this paper. That's why I liked it. And I'm really liking the color combinations in it. I've used it several times if you've been watching my blog or the Sparkle and Sprinkle blog. So there's the um, base of your card and now we'll go on to your stamped image. You'll receive your um, scalloped oval and you're going to be using uh, Memento Black and you're going to ink up the hibiscus and stamp that on the bottom portion and I'm getting most of the flower on the um, shape. There you go and then you'll also stamp the sentiment. Um, we do not remember um, days but moments and I'm going to stamp it in black. If you have last month's video kit club, you can stamp it um, with Versamark and emboss it with the um, Pear Star. But since you just got this last month, I'm not going to include that. We're going to go a different route. So this is the sample with the Pear Star. And I'm going to make this one with the um, black ink and sparkle embossing powder. So go ahead and ink up your sentiment then and stamp that up at the top. And then you also want to stamp the hummingbird. And again, you could stamp this with black and color it, or you could stamp it with the pear moss. Here's one with pear moss, and then I did one colored on the inside as well. So there's a couple different options that you can do here. So go ahead and stamp the hummingbird on the scrap piece of vanilla cardstock that will be in your kit. And then of course we're going to color with the Copics. Um, the flowers, the, the hibiscus, I picked um, RV21, 23, and 25 to color with. And again, you want to start with your lightest color and color in your entire image. This is the RV21 and I'm using my circular motions um, when I'm coloring and this is just to lay down your ink to um, it's your base and once you get your base down your colors blend better when you've got your um, one, when you've got your first ink down, the paper is saturated then with your ink, and your colors flow easier. Okay, now that I've got my first color down, I'm going to go back in with RV23, and again start at the center and brush out with a feathering type effect where the, the lines are in the center of the flower. And I'm pretty much going out almost to the tip of the flower. 
And this petal back here that's behind the other one is going to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to color most of that. And then, um, again, just start in the center. And as you go out, lift up your marker with a brush stroke. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the RV25, and I'm going to color in this, the darkest part here that's obviously the darkest in the flower, and then I'm going to kind of like just trace the lines that are there in the image. And again, on this one, since it's in the back and it's going to be shaded pretty much, I'm going to go ahead and color in most of it. Okay. And then um, along here it's going to be darker too. Along the demon, is that what it's called? can't remember all of my botany. Okay, and then these little pieces, the shadows of the ruffled parts on the edge of the flower, I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of the dark, um, the RB25 in there as well, just to give it a little bit of depth um, on the edges. Okay, and then when you're done with all of that, you want to go back with your lightest color. I'm going back with RV21 and just kind of go over all of your colors. It's going to soften and blend all of those lines together. I just love this step because I love to watch all the colors just blend and melt together then. And if you need to, if, if the lines look too dark for you, um, you can go back with um, a little bit more of the ink, the RV21, and just keep adding that until you get the soft look that you're looking for. Okay, so there's the flower. And I'm going to go ahead and do the center now. I'm using um, Y15 for this, and I'm going to color the whole stamen and this little piece over here. And then the tips of the um, stamen are red. So I am using R08, and I'm just going to touch those red dots on the hibiscus. And then I'm only going to add just a little bit around the bottom of this piece that's sticking out. And I'm going to go back over that part with the yellow only so it makes it more um, orange and it tones it down a little bit. You could even add a little bit of the red down here at the base and then go back over it with the yellow and soften it. Kind of make it more orange. And then of course for the green I'm using my favorite combo of YG06 and YG63. And I'm just going to go ahead and color the leaf and the stem with the YG03. Color in all of that. And then go back with your YG 63, and you can do um, just tracing it, or if you want to fill it in a little bit more, and then the bottom of where the flower um, meets the stem, it's going to be darker because there's going to be more shadow there. And then just go back with your YG6 or YG03. Okay. So now you've got your flower done, let's go ahead and color the um, hummingbird. And I am going to color 
um, basically all of it but these um, his neck and the top of his head I'm going to go ahead and color him all YG03 to start with and even in between this white spot on his head and his wings. Okay, and then I'm going to go back with the um, YG63 um, and kind of brush out around the wings where there's going to be darker parts and on his back and where his tail comes out. And then um, what I'm doing now is bringing in BG13 and blending it from the edge into the um, green on the wing. And it's just going over it. Just add a little bit of the blue color, the turquoise color. Okay, and then I'm going to use the RV25 for the, the neck here. And if you don't have the Copics, you can use um, whatever coloring method that you like. A lot of us, uh, you have the Copics though, so I want to show you how I'm using them. I'm going to go back here a little bit and add a little bit more green in there. A little bit of the darker here. Give it a little bit more shading. A little bit around the belly. Actually, I think I'm going to add a little bit of the yellow, the Y15, for the belly just to kind of lighten. Lighten that up and then go back over it with the YG63. Okay, so now we've got all of our coloring done. Now in your kit you'll also receive the pen boss. It's an embossing pen and you're going to use this and you're going to color in your entire um, flower where you um, colored with the Copics or whatever and um, you're going to color it all in you want to make sure you get it all so go ahead and cover all of that and then in your kit you'll also receive a sparkle embossing powder and you're going to go ahead and cover the flower then with the um, embossing powder and then I'm going to do the bird right now while I have it out and then cover that with the sparkle embossing powder and then we're going to heat those and as you heat them you'll see that it's going to intensify the color and add just a little bit of sparkle Okay, I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but it's sparkly and shiny. And after you heat it, if you find some spots that you missed, you can go back and just add a little bit more ink and um, sparkle embossing powder. And then also to make the flower pop out a little bit more, you can use your um, grays and um, trace under it a little bit to give it a little bit of dimension. I'm using the warm grays, the W's. This is W1. And then I'm going to go back with a thinner line of W3. And this just helps the flower to kind of pop out a little bit more. And you can see the dimension. of it. Okay. Let me go ahead and get that. And I actually want to do a little bit under that leaf. Okay. So now 
You need to cut out your hummingbird. Okay, and then when you're done cutting out your bird, I also sponged the edge of the um, oval and I used Summer Sky and a sponge dauber. And I'm just going to go ahead and sponge the edges. And you might like a little bit of ink or you might want to put a little bit more in. Kind of resembles the sky, I think, and softens the edges. Okay, and then um, when you're adhering the um, hummingbird, you can use dimensional tape if you have some, or you could use um, regular tape. Just tape them flat. And then when you adhere it <clears throat> to the front of your card, remember that it's only going on half of the card. So you only want to put adhesive on half of the, the card. So go ahead and put that down then. And there's your card. Pretty gatefold card. And again, you could um, stamp another hummingbird on the inside if you'd like, or on the envelope if you want to. This is the um, card with the pear boss from last month, and here it is this month with the sparkle embossing powder. So I hope you have fun playing with this month's video kit club. Um, and I'll see you again next month. Happy stamping!